Hey guys, welcome to Tough Guys. David here. On this video, we're gonna be building a bunch of shelves for like this weird triangle shape closet we have in one of our rooms, you'll see in a second. Um, full disclaimer, this video is a little bit newer, like me shooting this intro because I lost the original one. So I'm gonna kind of jump right into the video and we'll go inside and, and show you what we're doing in there. So uh, take a look at that and thanks for watching this. Um, hopefully you learned something from it and don't forget to check us out on social at Tough Guys TV, basically everywhere. Let's get into it. Okay, I wanted to bring you inside, show you the space where we're gonna be building those shelves. It's kind of a weird little nook. I'm gonna show you around the room a little bit so you can get a feel for why it is that we need to build some shelves. It's kind of like a, like a closet nook that we had originally designed to be a small closet. Um, I'm gonna show you the other side of the wall so you can see why it's shaped like a triangle. Um, basically, we just need, sh just need shelves to store stuff. So here's that shape. Um, the wall kind of cuts in and goes back. Our original plan was to kind of build a wall with a small door to make it kind of like a closet. We have on this side, like a wall with our TV. So this was a new wall that we built in a back room of our house to create kind of like an office. So I need to get some shelves in here so we can store stuff. And I wanted to go through the process since it's kind of a weird thing with this being a, a triangular shape and maybe somebody's running into the same kind of issue and I came up with a pretty cool way to make these shelves really quick and easy. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the pieces of wood that we got and kind of explain why they are the way they are and then show you how we're gonna do a quick template. All right, here are those boards. They are two feet wide by four feet long. And the spot that it's gonna go in is, is actually quite a bit deeper. Um, we drew a line on here that is the the edge wall in that little triangle space so this part right here would actually be hollow um we don't really need that back spot because you can't put much there anyways so the plan is to before i cut these boards i'm going to draw the shape onto a piece of cardboard and then we're going to take that inside and make sure it fits uh before we waste the boards because i only got three of these all right so we've laid the board out here on the piece of cardboard A regular old razor knife. Now I'm cutting this on concrete. If you do this, you're gonna ruin your blade. Just word of warning. All right, so here's the template piece, fun. We're gonna take this inside and fit it into that opening to make sure, actually we go this way, to make sure that it actually fits in there before we cut the wood. So let's go check that out. All right. Not quite, not quite. So in the back side, we can pull some measurements down to see what that's gonna be. And we'll actually use a square over there to make sure that this front part is actually straight. Cause that might've been our issue with the piece of wood when we were trying to measure. So see, good reason to use a template first instead of cutting the wood. All right, with a little bit of trimming, looks a lot better. We actually took some, some off of this end to help see it further in. So now we're gonna test one of the boxes um, that we're gonna actually store in here to see if this is actually deep enough overall. Okay, so after we put the template in place, we're gonna need to make it inch and a half wider on this long side and two and a half inches wider on the back side. So I'm gonna lay that board up here and put the template on it and then make some marks based on this on the board. So we'll make our first mark two and a half inches off or one and a half inches off this end. It's gonna be a line it goes up and down right there. This measurement versus the top side against here to there to make sure that we can actually use one board for that. We figured out a way to split the difference. We did a few different measurements here. That's why you see the different colors. We were trying to 
shave a little bit off the depth of the shelf in order to make the two pieces match. And we did come up with that. This red line here makes both pieces the exact same. If we cut along that red line, they are both the exact same size. And uh, this time we have the angle correct due to that template. And basically here is what we're gonna end up with uh, as far as that shape goes. I realize that this is probably never gonna be exactly like your situation that you may see, but hey, if you've got a weird closet that needs some shelves, uh, hopefully this will help you out. Now we've got our cordless rigid circular saw. I'm gonna make this cut for you guys. And look at that cut, nice and straight. Looky there, the rigid does nice with that Diablo blade. Check that thing out. So we're gonna take these two pieces that are exactly the same, we're gonna take one inside and make sure that it fits before we cut the other two boards. All right, let's try this. So it's a nice cut, it's a little bit further in than we wanted, but this way we can get two boards or two shelves out of one board. Whereas if we would have brought this out a little bit more, we would have wasted a ton of a ton of wood. So, um, and that little hollow spot in the back, nothing's ever gonna be that far back anyways. And we can always put a little piece in if we need to later on. So let's go cut the rest. What do you think about the shelf? Do you I like it? I think about um, maybe we could put lots of things on it and maybe eggs for Easter or we could make we could paint stuff like squiggly things sure. on it. So it could be for Easter eggs or we could paint it like a controller if it's for video games. That's right, high five. Not sure it'll show up well on camera, but the sunsets are getting real pretty around here. <laughs> a little bit of 120 sandpaper to kind of get off the little burrs on the edge of this. We've wrapped up all the cuts on all these pieces here. Um, we have some one by two that we're going to cut, kind of go around the bottom to support the shelves. Um, that's the last part before putting them in. We actually like the look of the plywood in there. We're not going to paint them or anything. It's just get a kind of an overflow closet. Um, and they're going to be able to come out. So if we do need to paint it at some point, we can. But uh, here's a quick look at the, the six pieces we got. And next step is to put them inside. All right, back inside that little nook here. So what we did was we laid out with some tape the sizes of the, the distance between the shelves that we need based on like the storage bins that we're using. And based on, we've got this thing we use for the t-shirts that's 18 inches tall. So we wanted to make sure on that first shelf, we had enough room for that one. And then using a level on this side, then we laid a second level across the opening to map out and mark the wall for the shelves on the opposite side. So now we can come back and put the one buys in there to get them ready. And then basically just set these things in place. All right, now that we've got the tape marked and the marks on the wall on the inside. I'm going to cut those little one by two strips and the little diagram that I made earlier. I'm going to use this for all the cuts. So I just need to make basically just 10 cuts of the one by two. So I'm going to make those. We're going to take them in and we're going to use the air nailer to just pop them on the wall really fast and set the shelves in place. As far as the cuts go, I'm going to need 10 for this side or five for this side and five for this side. So this is 24, this is 34 and a half. 
I'm probably gonna cut these at about 30 inches and cut these at about 20 inches. So 10 total cuts. Uh, let's grab the, the one by twos. And here's a couple of the one by twos I picked up uh, at the store the other day, ready to go. I'm gonna take these over to the saw and get them cut down. So like I said, I need a couple at 20 and a couple at 30. Let's see how long these leftover pieces are. Coffee time. So we got five, five of each side. So five for one side and five nailers for the other side. All right, so these are those boards that we're doing, just a little one by two. I'm gonna do a inch and a half brad nail. So these look like uh, the DeWalt brand, it's the ones I've always bought. We've got a little Freeman uh, nail gun here, inch and a half. And these are gonna go on the wall where we marked. That's the next step. All right, we're back inside. This is where we're gonna go. You might be wondering, where's all that great light coming from? Well, it's coming from that hyper tough LED light that we got at Walmart. There's a video on that, go check it out. We're gonna start at the top, put the nailers in up high first, and then work our way down as we go. We went ahead and got this one up high already put in. You see we did one nailer on this side and another nailer on that side. We just held the level on there before we nailed each one. And then we just set it across there to make sure that it was good to go. Um, we just went ahead and did this one because it's up so high, it's real hard to get to it. So now we've got four more to go. So we'll get these in and show you guys how it goes. All right, so for this this one, we realized we were a little bit far in. We just tack nailed it down and it's, it's not gonna go anywhere anyways. So on this one, these little marks, I put a little arrow so I knew which way I'm going. So I'm gonna set this one a little bit further out where it needs to go. And once I know it's on the line, put the level on it. All right, so now we're gonna nail it in place. Couple will hold it in place. You can go ahead and take the level down. So same procedure as last time. You're gonna take the, the one by, put it on the wall where you know it needs to go. Then push the level. Nail it in. And again, a couple nails in there, it's gonna hold it in place so you can get your nailer and nail the rest. And here's the next shelf. We'll go ahead and slide that one in place. After, we break After the I break the blinds or the window. <laughs> Don't do that. Next episode, replacing a window. Yeah, that'll be the next one to replace all this. So you see that's in there, really nice and neat. And if you want, what we've been doing is just putting a, a couple of tack nails in up here at an angle just to hold it in place. Nothing more than that's needed. It's not going anywhere. Okay, look at this. Here we go. These are all in there. Turned out pretty good. Again, just a, some shelving that we needed in this space. Uh, nothing super fancy, um, but it's going to do its job for us. All right, so we wrap this one up here, this weird triangle closet shelving build. Thanks for coming along with us on this one. If you really liked what we do, please consider subscribing to the channel. It does help us keep making videos for you guys. And anything we could have done differently, please comment as well below. I'll put up some links here to show you guys how to connect with us on social media if you want to see more of what we do on a regular basis. Thanks for watching. See you in the next project.